Hello friends, so in the previous lecture we discussed the excretory product and a different excretory organs in different animals. Okay, so today we start the uh, excretory organ of human being, the well developed kidney. Okay, the tubular uh, part which accumulate together and form a kidney. So this tubular part is known as uriniferous tubules which uh, is responsible for the formation of urine and this uriniferous tubules are arranged in a particular organ it is known as kidney now where the kidney is so the kidney is situated in the abdominal cavity okay and the specific location is in the abdominal cavity in the lumbar region and the lateral side of vertebral column you can say Key kidney is present lateral side of vertebral column in the abdominal cavity and in the lumbar area. Okay, so uh, kidney is somewhat reddish in color or brownish in color. Okay, and kidney is like this. Key it is uh, the length is almost 10 centimeter to 12 centimeter. The widthness the width is about 5 to 7 centimeter and the thickness is almost 3 centimeter. So this, this is the length, width and thickness of kidney and almost weight is almost 120 to 170 ki, uh, grams okay so grams which is most important because uh, the unit is most important so uh, 120 to 170 grams of each kidney okay now what are the excretory organs which are helpful to excrete or eliminate the excretory product so first of all one pair of kidney then one pair of ureter which arises from uh, kidney then uh, one pair uh, sorry one urinary bladder it is a chamber like structure okay and this uh, urinary bladder collect the blood from the ureter and ureter opens into the urinary bladder and ureter sorry urinary bladder opens through a urethra outside of the body okay so this is the passage now we focused on the structure of kidney especially from the external side so if you see the external side of kidney you just see a groove or a uh, deep part it's called helum so uh, it is the the concave side of kidney you can see there are two sides a convex side and second is concave side so concave side is kidney there is a groove or you can say helum it is known as Helum. So the uh, ureter, ure, uh, ureter is arises from helum, and the renal artery is comes into the helum and renal vein. So we, ye renal vein and arteries hai, they are attached with this helum. So when you uh, see the section, the transverse section of kidney. Okay, sorry, you can say a longitudinal. Sorry, longitudinal section of kidney. There is the two region of kidney. The outermost region is called renal cortex and the inner, uh, inner region is renal medulla. So renal cortex and medulla. For the better explanation you can see this diagram. Okay, In this diagram you can easily identify ki where is the kidney, uh, sorry where is the renal cortex and where is the renal medulla. Okay, So the outermost layer is renal cortex and inner part is renal medulla. Okay, now. Out of, outside of renal cortex, there is a, a layer, protective layer, which is present on kidney. Okay, now, then renal medulla. Now, what is the specialty of renal medulla? In the renal medulla, there are the few, uh, few many, there are so many, so many renal pyramids are there, renal pyramids, which are arranged in a particular manner. And between two renal pyramids, there is the renal column is there. Now this type of arrangement is this column is, are known as the column of Bertini. So there is the column of, column of Bertini which is present in the medullary region of kidney. Now in this renal pyramid the tubular or uriniferous tubules is arranged. Now the uriniferous tubules is also known as nephron. Uriniferous tubules is also known as nephron. So we uh, we start from the helum. So helum ke andar, as you know ki ureter arise hoki hai then urinary uh, sorry renal vein jo bahar jati hai aur renal artery jo andar aati hai but they are arranged in the helum region. Now 
बिलो द हिल हम देर इज अ स्पेस कि जहां पे यूरिन है वो एक्यूलेट होता है इन दिस स्पेस इज नॉन एज रिनल पैलिस दिस स्पेस इज नॉन एज रिनल पैलिस नाउ रिनल पैलिस के ऊपर देर आर स्ट्रॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस 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 इज आर द स्ट्रॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दिस स्ट्रॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इज कैलिक्स कैलिक्स इज अ कैलिक्स इज अ सिंगुलर वर्ड एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द प्लूरल इट कॉल्ड कैलाइसिस ओके कैलाइसिस आर देयर एंड सो मेनी कैलाइसिस इट इज द स्ट्रॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इज बेस लाइक स्ट्रक्चर कि जिसके ऊपर द रिनल पिरामिड इज सिचुएटेड ओके सो रिनल पिरामिड इज आर सिचुएटेड ऑन द कैलाइसिस okay now what is the structure of renal pyramid so in the renal pyramid there are so many uniniferous tubules or rather you can say nephron now nephron ka structure kya hai wo dekhte hain almost 10 lakh or you can say 1 million nephrons are present in a single kidney it is near about 1 million okay so uh, if you talk about two kidneys there are 2 million nephron or uniniferous tubules now almost a single uniniferous tubules is about 3 cm long so just imagine ki how many nephrons are present 1 million nephrons are there and each nephron have the 3 cm length so how the convoluted it is okay so it is so convoluted and compact structure okay just see just see the diagram of nephron you can easily identify it sir this is so complex or rather sir this is so convoluted so first of all the outer part or the first part of uniniferous tubules or you can say nephron the glomerulus or you can say bowman capsule this is the cup like u shape bowman capsule and in the bowman capsule there is the glomerulus means the uh, capillary is a convoluted structure of blood capillaries it is known as glomerulus and uh, the afferent artery forms this glomerulus okay so afferent artery comes into the bowman capsule and then form a globe like bulb like or round shape or a net like structure of blood vessels and then they arises uh, from the uh, they, uh, they comes out uh, sorry they uh, comes outside from bowman capsule and form a efferent artery when you see a uh, observe when you see the diagram of this uh, and observe sharply so the efferent artery the diameter of efferent artery is larger than the diameter of efferent artery so efferent arteries have more uh, uh, width and jo uh, efferent artery hai uski width there is a small width okay now then after this now this is the bowman capsule and this is the glomerulus now combine this both the things are known as malpighian body listen carefully bowman capsule and glomerulus combinedly known as malpighian body now malpighian body then the the tubules is started from the uh, bowman capsule it is a neck region for an example this is the bowman capsule and this tube is started from the bowman capsule so the connection of this tube and bowman capsule is known as neck like this this is the neck okay now after the neck there is a convoluted area near the bowman capsule it is known as pct proximal convoluted tube pct proximal convoluted tube okay now after the pct there is a long region okay it is known as now it becomes smaller 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 it is known as loop of henle now loop of henle the whole cow or whole u shape it is known as u shape oh, sorry it is known as loop of henle now loop of henle has has the two different parts first is the descending part second is ascending part so after the pct there is the descending part and डीसी जो एसेंडिंग पार्ट है सॉरी डिसेंडिंग पार्ट है वो कव होके एसेंडिंग हो जाएगा और ऊपर आएगा नाउ द अपर साइड ऑफ डिसेंडिंग पार्ट सॉरी एसेंडिंग पार्ट दे बिकम मोर कॉन्वोलेटेड एंड दे फॉर्म अ सेकेंड कॉन्वोलेटेड ट्यूब्यूल और यू कैन से डिस्टिल कॉन्वोलेटेड ट्यूब वाई इट्स कॉल्ड डिस्टिल बिकॉज इट इज फार फ्रॉम फार फ्रॉम इज लेंथ वाइज फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल थर्ड सेंटीमीटर थर्ड टोटल थ्री सेंटीमीटर लाइन है सो सबसे पहले कॉन्वोलेटेड ट्यूब स्टार्ट हुई सॉरी बॉमन कैप्सूल देन डी सी टी यहाँ पे है और जब वो कव होती है तो वो एक दूसरे के साथ नियर हो जाती है बट इट इज नॉन एज डिस्टिल कॉन्वोलेटेड ट्यूब बिकॉज इट इज 
somewhat they uh, far from each other lengthwise okay not but they are close to uh, each other but when you calculate the distance it is still converted to so dct and dct opens into the collective tubules means you can say ki yahan pe blood filtration hota hai in the globulus and then the filterer passes through this is, these are the organs ki pct then uh, loop of henle and then dct and dct se jo bhi filtration aata hai ho jata hai collective ducts that's why it is known as collective duct okay now this collective ducts are united together and form a different duct and then duct wo main naam bol raha tha then duct open into the renal pelvis and renal pelvis se okay the renal uh, ureter mein aata hai ureter se urinary bladder and then urethra ke through shall we say body se bahar nikalta hai okay so <coughs> this is the structure of urinary tubules this is the structure of kidney and this is the general anatomy okay now <coughs> the second thing is sir what about the nephron type there are two type of nephron just listen carefully it will help you in the future so it is the demarcation the imaginary demarcation is that ki bowman capsule the pct and dct these are the part of nephron which present in the cortex region and the loop of henle is present in the medullary region means they are arranged like this they are arranged like this so uh, they are arranged like this so this is the bowman capsule pct and here is the dct so the loop is present in the medullary region clear so the loop is present in the medullary region that's why the nephron is of two type first type it is called cortex nephron what is meaning of cortex nephron cortex nephron means uh, the upper part means pct dct and bowman capsule these are the part present on cortex region but the loop of henle which is very short जिसके अंदर लूपो फेंडले इज इज शॉर्ट एंड नॉट सो मच लॉन्गर इन और सो मच डीप इन दूला इट इज नॉन एज कॉटेक्स नेफ्रॉन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज चक्सटा मेडुलरी नेफ्रॉन चक्सटा मेडुलरी नॉन नेफ्रॉन द ओनली डिफरेंस इज कि द लूपो फेंडले इज सो लॉन्ग और सो लार्ज रेदर लॉन्ग इज बेटर वर्ड सो द लूपो फेंडले इज सो लॉन्ग एंड विच डीप इन टू दी मेडुलरी रीजन दैट्स वाइट इज नॉन एज medullary juxta medullary nephron so nephron is of two type juxta medullary nephron and cortex nephron clear the histology and the anatomy is easy of the kidney is is easy okay and uh, just read the textbook if you any doubt just ask me okay in the uh, next lecture we will discuss the uh, filtration process and the parts of different uh, nephron parts of nephron and the function of different uh, parts of nephron okay so aaj ke liye yahan rakhta hu bye